institution? Yeah, exactly. Because in a matter of governance and development, you know, local council or local government is a place where the rubber meets the road. And you know, there have been arguments about whether local government is a third tier of government and a feature of federalism, or that the, country, uh, the control of local government should be the responsibility of, ex of the state. What exactly should we understand? You know? All right. Now, let's put it straight. I like your question. Number one, constitutionally, the local government is the third tier of the state, um, or, of, the, um, of the country, yeah. of, governor of governance in Nigeria. Yeah, third tier of governance. Number two, it is a basic function of federalism. Because what you have in federalism, by definition, is you have a government at the center, you have component units, and you have subcomponent units. If you don't have that, then you're going to unitary governance or unitary mm, system mm. of government. Yeah. Now, so the Constitution has put it in place, and that's what we should do. That's what we should follow. That's why the AG has come up to do it. And, and if you look over time, the practice at that level has been so bastardized that li literally local government heads or chairmen were are literally stooges of yeah. the state government. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also saw... One of the things, one of and the... you call them stooges because they are somewhat selected by yes, the emperors of, find, of, of, this, yes. of this state. And the reason so is that the state, unfortunately, is the state that conducts the election, the state INEC. That's right. Conducts. So there's some level of influence by the, by the governor. And you find that we've seen, you saw what happened in Ogo State last yeah. year. You saw how the governor was brazen and literally took out, mm. you know, the local government chairman, and right. you know, you saw all the other local government chairmen go and beg the governor, mm -hmm. and it was televised, and I'm like, come on. These people do not understand the provisions of the Constitution. They do not understand their powers under the Constitution, because you are a government. The same way the president cannot fling a governor or do anything to a governor the way he wishes, the governor cannot do the same thing to the local government chair. One of the things, one of the reliefs sought by the AG in that, um, in that suit yeah. is the issue of the um, election. Yeah. Because you find it that normally um, they spend three years or a little over three years mm -hmm. by the provisions of the law yeah. that puts them in place. Now, so what happens is that instead of governors to conduct elections, they put up a caretaker committee. And then those ones stay there for the entire one year. That is unconstitutional. Very it's unconstitutional. Like That's what the AG is fighting on, yeah. on the people. So what happens is that it's, it's become a food for the boys thing. So, okay, this one is loyal to me. Then we put him there. Then they call them the executive secretary. That's the ES. Then over time, too, that one gains ground. Then he starts vying for. So it's, it's, it's an anomaly mm. politically, legally. And I think that's what the AG is trying to correct. I think the only thing I, I, I read earlier this morning when I was, you know, looking into this, um, the governor of Lagos State yeah. was like, come on. He said he's fourteen <laughs> the federal government suit yes. against the 36 that, government. That if there is yeah. anybody who has, be, who has blazed the trail, who has been in the forefront of autonomy for the local government, it's Lagos State. So that you can't just make a blanket suit. And you know, you know I, I, I can feel my governor. I know, I know what it is. But the basic thing is that is right to an extent, but I think it's not a blanket suit. It's a suit to bring in everybody. At the end of the day, you know, I know the judgment of the Supreme Court will go right. Definitely. It's almost predictable yeah. because we know this is an aberration, is an anomaly. Right. And at the end of the day, when it comes, it becomes binding on everybody, yeah. whether you've been compliant or not. So, and that's it. Absolutely. There's a lot to talk about, uh, but then let's um, quickly 